you. And do they give you like a lot of money? No. So it's like stipend. We can approximate it's like three k. Did I buy toilet keys? Yes. That's 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 that's, that's that three k is your pocket money, your toilet every money, everything. Yes. So you do do you get to go home? How often? Are there situations? Two really? times. Two times a year. On a holiday. Mm -hmm. On the six month period. Two, two times. times in six months. Is this year? Sorry. Six huh? years. Six huh? years. Six years. Six no, what you? Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Yes. Two times in six years. What about death? Like if someone dies? No, no, definitely. So like, no, man, that's death. a lot. Yeah. Christmas? What? What is Christmas? In Cuba. What? What is Christmas? New Year's, New Year's Eve. What is what is that? Ah, guys, that's too much. Ah, die. Oh God. You see when I say exile. No, like, like when when, like, when that friend was in exile, like, like oh, mid, mid school oh, is just no go and just throw out like mm. just as it is. Like even when we're here, the only consoling thing would be like, okay, at least go to I'm going home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're pregnant. You think, chuck your way for life. <laughs> the Eastern Cape, yeah. Only Eastern Cape. There are other provinces that after the delivery they send you back. Oh, that's nice. The Eastern Cape you disappear. Into fall, fall into the cracks. <laughs> the cracks. No one again. will know you. Yeah. That's not nice. Yeah. That's not nice. Like mm -hmm. as much as I mean, yes, um, you you need to be responsible in anything. But I mean, life happens. You know, I'm not saying that um, people should get pregnant. But I mean, it happens. Mm -hmm. You know. So now I'm condemned. And they've already invested so much. Why would they let you fall that's into the, the crack? That's the thing. Why don't they I like wait for you to deliver, that, come back, so that they finish That's off. what the other, um, yeah, I was at university, that's what the other provinces are doing. Mm. Because at the end of the day, it's a loss to them. Mm. Hey, Eastern Cape doesn't care. Eastern Cape, Eastern, Eastern Cape, yes. Eastern Cape doesn't care, but maybe now it's better. Because I know there was there was a, a student we were with. Uh, she disappeared. don't know what happened. And she, so if it's a Cuban person from Cuba, mm -hmm. it makes you pregnant. At the end of the day, you can't get birth in Cuba. Why? Um, because the minute I think the minute you give birth, the number one is Cuban. Cuban. Yes. Then it's harder to get the child back out of out of the country. There's better to send you away while you're pregnant. Yeah, do your things, come back. Oh. They become so resilient. Mm. Like when, like when we were in Cuba with foreigners, right? Mm. And Cubans, of course, never fail to remind us that we're mm. foreigners. But sure, ne? we we grew tough skin. We, we, we grew thick skin. We need to say. And then you come back to South Africa. Because all of these years, right, mm -hmm. you are busy fighting with these people and you console yourself, I'm going to go home, I'm going to go home, I'm going to be done, I'm going to go home. You get home. You are a foreigner, you're a foreigner also. And you're just like, you are a foreigner like, also. We are like, wrong. <laughs> and, then, and, then they, and then we call them Cubans. And then I'm like, first and foremost, they are not please. Cubans. They are Cuban trained. We're Cuban South trained. South African doctors. Please. You know? I know. Because now you're just like, okay. Like, <laughs> was I fooling myself this entire six years? Because mm. I was busy telling myself that it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna finish. It's gonna end. I'm gonna go home. Mm. Like all of this will be all in the past. Like I'm going to go home. I'm going to be with my mm. people. When you get here, the very same people. I just like, I just like, mm, then who are you? <laughs> <laughs> so you you come back from Cuba after how many years of having been there? So you come back after competing fifth year. Of okay. medical school, but you've okay. been there for six years. Because remember, there was that Spanish, oh yeah, um, made type of thing. So you're there for six years. You, you have to come back here for eighteen months. For eighteen months. So technically, your whole medical experience is plus minus seven and a half years. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now I get it. Yeah. So then you come back. Do you apply to which university you okay. want to go to? So it's it's just like the ICSP thing. Oh, the it's online application. So I cannot really online because I mean. Oh, okay. Um. Obviously, you five options. Mm -hmm. So you choose which university you would like to go to. So you choose five and then they'll place you accordingly. Mm -hmm. Now um, that is a different program for, for, for students from call them NMMCs, Nelson Mandela Fino Castro collaboration students. Mm -hmm. So it, all of that was pioneered with us. Mm -hmm. So basically now we were not um, incorporated with, with that games. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Our you had your own classes. Yes. But then there was a struggle. Like when, when, we, when they were incorporated mm -hmm. like with us, because that's when I was I graduated. Mm -hmm. I graduated in 2017. And at that time, prior to that, we had um, students from who trained in Cuba come join us, mm -hmm. and they would be in our class, same class, same everything. And they'd struggle, especially with the clinical years, mm -hmm. um, in terms of like basic things that we thought were basic, like mm -hmm. putting up a drip, mm -hmm. where they'd have to start over. I don't know. Maybe it's because their level at Cuba is so specialized, or whatever, that you don't get exposed to a lot of like procedure things. So some that of the students. Is. So some of the students who wouldn't know how to put up a drip wouldn't. Mm -hmm. So they have to. You have to be an eager student to be, to begin with, mm -hmm. for you to get there. Okay, I'm gonna learn how to draw bloods. Yes. I'm gonna learn how to put up a drip. I'm gonna learn. 
how to like put up an ICD. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna learn this, that. Mm -hmm. So it would be the eager ones who would push themselves to the extent of having to learn those procedures. But um, majority would have, you know, be shocked. Mm. Like, okay, what's happening? Because obviously the whole system is different. Yes. Like, okay, the whole hospital environment, we have to suture, like things like suturing, mm. they weren't exposed to that. I don't know, maybe you can, I don't know, uh -huh. were you exposed to okay. such things? Because so, we find that they're starting from scratch to mm. learn procedures, not yeah. necessarily like medical knowledge, because yes. that's the same, yeah. but in terms of procedures. The procedures. Yes, the procedures, definitely. Um, because there were technicians. So there'd be someone to take blood, someone to put up yes. a drip, someone to suture somebody. Yes. <laughs> Yours basically is your notes. Your knowledge. Is so you just write notes, notes, you plan, write notes, plan, suture, and everything, blood. To differential diagnosis. Like you, basically what you, you put into the brains. And then you don't do nothing outside no, of that. No. So that's why there were, there were things like this. Yes, there were things like elective courses. Because mm. I remember, um, because obviously, you know, people talk, right? Mm. So I was like, more than anything, um, people back in South Africa are saying, um, we don't know how to do procedures, mm. blah, blah, blah. Mm. And I mean, the, the Cubans really kind of listen, you know? Mm -hmm. So they... There were classes like elective courses mm -hmm. where you'll be now taught like procedures mm -hmm. and that. but then you then you, you choose it. It's up to you. So if the elective is just like yeah, actually I don't like, want to do that, I'm actually fine, you know. Yeah. Because I mean it wouldn't be um, electives of procedures only. There'll be other electives, maybe electives HIV, because things like oh, HIV, TV, you're not exposed things to things like that. You and see that's like bread and butter of South, South African, African yeah, medicine. Exactly. And the reality is yes, um oh, what is that person? Is that is that Harrison's? Hmm. Harrison's obviously the thing is the HIV mm -hmm. is there, but that's I mean, not enough. But in, but I mean that's that's what that's the HIV we learned the basics. You know the basics, not the guideline. And even what the, what's the pathology? Mm. That's that's basically what we how much of HIV. Mm. That's about it. But in terms of the practice now mm. and so the drugs, the, the guideline. But what we learned, you didn't have babies, you like in terms of the requirements, or you only learned that when you come this side. More supervision. So a lot of the practical stuff, that's what those 18 months are for. Basically, yes. So, yeah, I don't know why, but now they're putting you guys in a separate program. So maybe it's to focus on that primarily. That's what happened. So the, the program that they started in, in FITS was basically clinical. Mm. It was clinical because I remember um, the, the person who actually was hitting the thing was on some. We know and understand that in terms of knowledge, scientific and everything, y'all are okay. Mm. But what we've, over the years, what we've noticed mm. is the, the practical stuff. Yes. So majority of our 18 months was practical. Yeah, I think that's good. That's good. It I'm glad they did that. It did, it, it really, it really, I'm for me, it really, that. because at the end of the day, look, the, pharma, the, the physiology I learned is the same. It's the same, it's not going to change. It's yes, the language change. is different, mm. but now I need to actually put it to into actually, practice, mm. yes, because the thing is that the knowledge, the knowledge I have, I probably have more knowledge mm. than, but now I need to actually do the work. Do the work. Because mm. mm. a lot of like students, they used to fail, like obviously because obviously they're not, they're not familiar with the system, or they don't familiar with anything, yeah. and they don't get, it's only now that they're learning how to do certain things mm. and like getting accustomed to the way that um, everything is done in South Africa, but I'm glad that they're setting up programs to specifically like cater to no, to the deficits or the mm -hmm. things that are left out. The discrepancies, mm -hmm. yes. No, they are. They are. I just I'm just not sure about the other universities. I mean, vets had to because I mean, mm -hmm. it took 150. Vets usually takes a lot of people, yeah. but vets are still, they just take people to cut people, I say. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust vets. Like, I don't. Like, no, just, but I really even during feel. our year, they took, they took a lot, like that was the biggest number of medical mm -hmm. students that they took in 2012. And like 300 and 350 people, like a lot of people. But best leave, they make provision. Mm. <laughs> they know how they're gonna clean yeah. up. They know how they're gonna clean up. They know how they're gonna chop people, set up systems, negative marking, mm. yeah. financial exclusion, um, academic exclusion. So yeah, it's just, it's bad. I don't know if there's anything I forgot, but yeah, then you get to work. When you apply, you apply just like us. ICSP. ICSP, you apply, you pick the university, I mean, the hospitals that you want to mm -hmm. go to. And obviously, they make provision for us versus bursary people, like government mm -hmm. bursary holders. So we get, do you get your first choice? Yes. Yeah, I also did. We're here now. It is the way it is. We're here now. But would you go to Cuba again? So first, if you were given, if you were given the option, 
if you were, you were enlightened about the fact that you could have just studied like the way, for example, that I studied? I think I would. You would have gone to Cuba still? I think I would. Um, but more than anything, I, I'd, 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 I'd never encourage somebody to go there. <laughs> I'd, I'd say go there when you are very sure it's not just medical practice, mm. right? Because, I mean, you're in an entire different continent mm. that that comes to play. Mm. You know? So that's why I'm saying, like, for medicine alone, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say go there. Mm. I wouldn't, I really, I, I know and understand that some people... Um, find it difficult to understand when, if I'm going to say that, I wouldn't advise for you to go to Cuba, but I still say I had a great experience. I learned a, a lot. lot. I'm a good <laughs> person. Mm. But I mean, it, for me, it is, it's like, as I said before, for me, the medicine was basically collateral. Mm. In, in all honesty, the medicine was collateral. I learned, I learned a whole lot more than, than medicine. Mm. You know what? Yes, I, I went there as a kid. I was, you go there, you are in a foreign country. You're basically fighting for your survival, trying to prove to these people that you are actually mm. worth it. You you, you are not dumb. Mm. It's a language. So you're trying to prove to these people that you know and understand their language. You're not dumb. You're worthy of actually studying this medicine. And then just when you get a grip of it, and then those people start to understand, like, mm, okay, not bad. They're not as bad as we thought. You need to come back to South Africa. Mm -hmm. South Africa, you're starting back from the from the bottom now. Mm -hmm. You need to prove to your very own people that I'm actually worthy of this degree. I'm worthy of, of the, you know, of this this thing. I I actually deserve this title, mm -hmm. and that is something you were trying to prove the whole five years, mm -hmm. and then just when they were getting it and grasping it, and then they're like, no, definitely, you are really ready, you are worthy, you are going to serve your community, we trust you now, now we can send you back home. You get home and then they're like, I don't know you. <laughs> and you start again, like, no guys, you know, this is me, this is what's happening, mm -hmm. I really am worth it, I really was trained, and blah, 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 you know? Mm -hmm. It's it's just it's just a never-ending thing. And then you get to the workplace, and then, um, obviously, now it's going to be, like, which university did you train to? Did you train at? I don't know if you've noticed. Ah, but, but you'll just say adverts. The That's the thing. I don't want. I didn't train in fits. You understand? I so didn't. You just it's a lie. From Cuba. Yes. Because it's a lie. Mm. But most of, of people tend to shy away from it mm. just to avoid conflict and also like bad attitude. They just mm. say, I'm from a Cuban fits. doctor. You understand? Um, you know, a lot of things affect us psychologically and otherwise. So people to avoid, um, you know, being looked at in another way, being given an attitude. They will just say, I trained it first. At the same time, mm. um, sometimes you speak from a point of view of what's in your view. Mm. Because you were telling me that what you noticed is that in terms of practical stuff, clinical stuff, um, the Cuban trade were lacking. Mm. Yeah. So that is something that somebody is going to say that they don't know how to put up drips. <laughs> no, they won't say they don't know how to put up drips. They are useless. Oh, they know no, nothing. Bad. I mean, they know... You do the same things. Like, you wouldn't have a whole medical... Like, if there's professors that we're employing who are doing our scans, who are specialists... Ask super me. Super specialists. Ask me. And then we employ them, and then they say we are, they are good. But then our own people that we send to the very same universities... Colorism. City, city, we city hate know, each other. City no, no. know they are incompetent. No, we hate each other. It's just a matter of the whole system. That's how it's set up. Yes. It doesn't but allow also, them. But also, we, we hate each other. As that's people, the thing. As because the thing is that... Yes, because how, you, how are you able to accept... An actual Cuban. A radiologist. The radiologist. Radio. So many. I see a specialist person mm. there working at our place. Yes. Place. And the thing but that then they really those are. Are the big and they're good. Really they are specialists. Like but, qualified. But look, specialists. I'm trained where they were trained. Same. So Can what's you the, get what's the problem? What the problem? The problem is that I'm a black child. Sometimes you're just trying to. That psychological strain. You just on some. I can't do this. Mm. I can. I, in my whole life, I cannot. You know, because. Um, like in Cuba, you, you, you got to a point where you were just like, you know what, think what you're thinking. What you think about it, that's okay. Mm. Like, it's really okay. I don't care. As mm. long as my work speaks for me, that's, that's, that's mm. about it. I say we are very broken. We're very broken. We are broken in different degrees. Mm. Um, and our brokenness is expressed in different ways, you know. But in all honesty, we're not okay. We're broken. It's a lot. It's, it's broken in, in a way or another. Um, could be academics. Could be there's a whole lot of things like a lot, a lot, a lot, isn't it? But everyone, 
has their own degree of brokenness mm. and it is um, expressed in different ways. At least it's worth it because you at least get to do what you've always wanted to that's do. That's the thing. But so the thing is, goal is what drives you. It mm. wants, it's, it's what drives you. Yeah. But at the same time, you, you sometimes you know you ask yourself, is it really worth it? Like, what is the point of it all? Like, mm. yes, this is what I want to do, but all the time you have to push against resistance. Mm. All the time, and then you just like, <laughs> as I said, what I, what I want for my entire life. Like, is this really what I signed up for? So yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. you opened up my view on the whole system. Because I did say when a couple of people were asking me that, actually, I don't really know. I don't want to talk about things I don't know. Mm. Because obviously, you have to have gone there for you to yeah, know how to understand And the whole experience. Because mm. other people wanted to actually go to Cuba to go study there. Because guys, even now, like, the department is no longer giving out bursaries. Some some departments are giving out only a few. Mm. I mean, some provinces, mm -hmm. um, because they can't afford, or they can't afford to retain you. It's just a, a whole lot of problems. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are now considering going to Cuba because they're not having access to, to, the, South to the South African universities, universities and the mm. and the bursaries from the government um, to send them to South African universities. It's, it's really hard to to kind of paint a picture for people, mm. you know. Because most of the time, more than anything, nobody wants to make it sound grim. Mm. That, oh my God, we thingy. And yes, we studied, now we have a doctor of practicing. So most of the time, I feel that's, that's what's enough. Mm. It's possible you can go to Cuba, you can. We can go to Cuba, you can come back here, come back qualified, and then you can practice medicine, right? Mm. But the thing is that there's a whole lot more attached to that, right? So it is possible if you want, if you really want it. Go, right, <laughs> but don't expect, don't expect um, the glitz in the camera, champagne. You know, <laughs> don't expect there is champagne, but don't expect champagne because there's a whole lot. It's 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 really not as simple as packing your bags, grabbing a taxi, and going to hopping. Mm. It's 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 not that simple, mm. right? There's there's a lot there's a lot to it, but um, all in all, it's very it's very much possible. Mm. It's very much possible, but you just need you need to be sure. You know, about what you want. About is, what it you really want. What you is it really what you want? If you want drive you because, to it, because if you want money, please. You won't make it. Do forex. <laughs> I don't know. Get it's for make do with what you have. So if it's not something that you want, you get to question yourself, is mm. it really worth it? So really, mm. I feel like in anything, if you're going to take something, do it for passion. Yeah. Never, never for it to be for convenience. Because it won't, it's not worth it. Convenience is my thing. <laughs> There's no convenience yeah, at all. There is There's no convenience at all. So really, you have to you have to actually love it to do it. But the art of medicine, I feel like I, I can't imagine myself having done anything actually. Now that I think about it, I can't. I still I still love it. I still do. That's that's it. <laughs> that's it. Because now you find people that thought they loved it. Now when they seem like they love the idea of it. They exactly. really didn't want to be called Doctor Van Van. Exactly. Nice things. You know when you walk in somewhere, they just that their face, you. white coat, but. There's, there's, more, there's more to it. There's layers. It's like yeah. an onion. There's layers. And then you will get better. Mm -hmm. I, I just hope that the very few people that still have it, mm -hmm. that thing of actually trying to tend to the patient as a human being, mm -hmm. don't lose that thing. 